Ernie X1 versus Ernie 4.5, which has just been released from Baidu, versus DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek version 3. So today we're going to be testing whether the new release from Baidu, Ernie 4.5 and X1, actually outperforms DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek version 3. Now, if you haven't seen the benchmarks right here, you can see the benchmark comparisons. The new models from Ernie 4.5 and X1, which have just come out from China, are actually outperforming on the benchmarks the other versions of DeepSeek and even ChatGPT 4.5. Now, the other thing to note here is if you get the API from Baidu for Ernie X1 4.5, it's actually at 1% of the price of ChatGPT 4.5, but it's outperforming ChatGPT 4.5 on many benchmarks. And the same for DeepSeek R1 as well. So if you want to have a look at the price comparisons on the APIs, and you can get free access to this as well, inside the chat, which I'll show you how to get access to in a minute. But you can see the model comparisons here. So for input, look at the price comparison. $75 per million for input on GPT 4.5, whereas Ernie is 0 0.55, DeepSeek R1, 0 0.55. And if you compare the models, which is Ernie X1 is a deep reasoning model, you can see here that it's basically half the price of DeepSeek R1, right? So DeepSeek R1 is 0 0.55 per million inputs and Ernie X1, which is basically like Baidu's alternative to DeepSeek R1 is 0 0.28, right? So you can see how much cheaper it is, but it's also performing really well on the benchmarks. So this is going to be very interesting. You can see the benchmarks here. So if we have a look, we've got Ernie 4.5 versus DeepSeek version 3. So these are comparative models along with GPT-40 and GPT-4.5. And you can see on many benchmarks, for example, like C eval or for example, C maths, you can see here that Ernie 4.5 is outperforming DeepSeek and ChatGPT in many ways. So let's compare them side by side. The first thing that I would say that is a little bit annoying, it's not perfect, right? So for example, if you actually come on to DeepSeek, DeepSeek is all in English. It's really accessible. It's quite easy to sign up for an account with email. That is much easier to get access to than Baidu. Baidu actually took me a while because I have to translate the website into English. And then also I had to sign up with a phone number that had to be verified, right? So it's not as easy as using a mobile. And additionally, when you're using these models, you have to figure out, okay, what does each of these mean? And it's just not as simple. Also for signing up to the API, I don't even know how to do it. But I do know how to sign up inside the chat, which you can see right here. And you can get that available here. I'll leave a link inside the AI Profit Boardroom to the SAP and everything like that. So if you want to get access to all this, just check out the AI Profit Boardroom. But yeah, let's compare the models now side by side. So if you want to understand, okay, which is the comparative model, right? So if you're using these models, let me pull this up here. And we're going to translate this to English. So make sure that in the top right here on Google Chrome, you select from Chinese simplified to English if you're wanting to use this in English. Essentially, in the top left, you can select between the different models, right? So if you want to use X1, it's basically like DeepSeek R1, right? So these are the comparative models. This is a reasoner model and the same with DeepSeek R1. If you want to compare, for example, Baidu's model for AI versus DeepSeek version 3, which is a lot faster but not a reasoning model, then you would select 4.5. So this is Ernie 4.5. And we can actually compare them side by side versus DeepSeek as well. Right? So if we go to deepseek.com, then we're going to deselect R1. And this will allow us to use a comparative model versus DeepSeek versus Ernie 4.5. So this is Ernie 4.5. And then over here, we have DeepSeek version 3. So let's run a few tests in terms of how this performs side by side, which one performs the best, etc. And one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to test this for writing skills. So I'm going to compare DeepSeek versus Ernie for writing. Okay. So what we're going to say here, let me grab this prompt. And this is one of my favorite prompts for creating SEO content. We're going to grab this right here. And we're going to go over to Ernie 4.5. And we'll say create an SEO optimized article for this. Put SEO train in Japan. Now, one thing to note here as well is like, these models are in Chinese. When you're using the UI, you can translate them like you can see. And then additionally, when you're comparing them, this will give you English output. So you can also choose to have 
online search selected. I think it has a lower chance of working if you do it that way. And also here, what's interesting is you can actually upload video, upload audio, upload pictures, and upload documents, right? So you can feed information into this. And if you want to go full screen on this prompt, you can do that. So let's see how they perform. We'll start with Ernie 4.5. And it says something went wrong. Please regenerate. So we'll try that again. There we go. So we get the output. Oh, let's see what we get back in a second. That doesn't seem to be working at all. So it's a bit of a fail already so far. We'll compare that versus a deep seek version three. And then we'll compare that versus Ernie X1 and deep seek R1. So let's see what we get back here. We're going to try and generate that again. That is crazy, right? So it's not working at all. Let's try a simpler prompt already. Deep Seek version three is winning simply because it works by default. But let's see what we get back. So we'll try another one here. Bear in mind, like there are going to be a lot of people using this AI model, right? I'm going to start a new chat here because that is just not working at all. All right. So far, Ernie 4.5 has totally failed. Deep Seek version three has beaten it on the challenge. Let's have a look now at Deep Seek R1 versus Ernie X1. Hopefully it does better than Ernie 4.5. The thing to note here is like this just got released 24 hours ago. So I guess there's a lot of people using this and that might overload the servers. But at the same time, you would expect this to work. Look at that. So if we compare the thinking and action process, it really doesn't matter what happens on the benchmarks. If you compare it in reality and this model is not working properly, then, you know, what's the point, right? This would waste your time if you came to using it properly. So. Bit of an issue right there, bit of an issue. What I can do is pull up some examples of what we've created earlier today using these models. But if this doesn't work and DeepSeek R1 does work, then by default, DeepSeek is winning, right? So far. Now, let's start up a new chat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run through some of the previous examples that I've used Ernie 4.5 and Ernie X1 for, right? Like you can see. So what we asked it to do originally was create a self-playing snake game using HTML with simple GUI. All right. So far, DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek version 3 have already won the first challenge of writing. Let's test it again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say create a self-playing snake game using HTML with a simple GUI inside DeepSeek R1. And we'll do the same inside DeepSeek version 3. And we'll see what we get back. Now, some people are asking, like, how do you actually build the interactive games, etc., desktop games applications. So this is how you do it. So you just keep the prompts really simple and you ask it to do that, right? Now, if you want another tool for this, we've actually got something inside the AI Profit boardroom, which is a custom made tool for building out stuff like this, right? It's called Prompt Forge. Let me pull this up for you. So this custom GPT right here, it's inside the AI Profit boardroom. You can use this to generate prompts for your games, applications, etc. And it will generate much better prompts simply because it's more in depth and that sort of thing. It's custom designed for that stuff. So we've got the HTML from Ernie X1 over here. Let's grab that. We'll go into live and we'll test it out. So this is the response from Ernie X1. Pretty good to be fair. I've never seen a snake game move that fast. Working pretty nicely right there. It doesn't play itself for too long. Seems to break, but it's... It's working. It does exactly what we asked it for. Now, this is the output from Ernie 4.5. Let's test this out as well. See if it works for the self-playing snake game. And that's working pretty nicely too, right? You can see that's working. It's generating the responses. It's going so far, but it does stop playing as well. And the whole point of this is like it's supposed to be self-playing. It's supposed to be able to play itself, right? Now, if we actually take the output from DeepSeek, so we've got the DeepSeek version three output from Snake right here, and we'll compare these side by side. All right, so let's grab that. So this is the output that we've got from DeepSeek version three. Grab that too. And then finally, grab the JavaScript plugin in there and the CSS over there. Now that is not really a self-playing snake game, right? If you look at, this is a weird game. I wouldn't say that it's snake at all. It seems like a modification of it. And so far, if you compare DeepSea version three 
versus Ernie X1. This is the output from Ernie X1. And the output from Ernie 4.5. Ernie 4.5 and X1 are beating it for coding, right? So DeepSeek version 3 doesn't seem to perform as well for coding. Now let's check the output from R1, all right? So let's grab these. We'll get the HTML back from DeepSeek R1 for this self-playing snake game. We'll see how that performs. So click on start game. To be fair, that so far seems like the best output, although it doesn't seem to play itself for too long. Let's see how it goes. So um, scores three. I do the UI as well. You can press these buttons and then flick between it. Yeah, so I'm going to say that's the best output so far. So DeepSeek R1 has coded the best. I would say Ernie X1 has come in second there. Ernie 4.5 has come in third. And then DeepSeek version 3 created some weird version of Snake I don't even understand, right? So for coding, DeepSeek R1 is still the best. But Ernie X1 comes in second, so fair play to it. Now what we can do is we can compare side by side versus some other stuff. So let's see if this actually works. We're going to grab another prompt here. And this is going to be a reasoning challenge, right? So basically we're going to use a winter apple puzzle. And we we'll say there's a tree on the other side of the river. In winter, how can I pick an apple? And what we're trying to compare here is the logical reasoning. The, you know, does it recognize that apples don't grow in winter? And also it's creativity in problem solving. So does it give us solutions? Does it give us lots of solutions, etc. Right? So we're gonna grab this prompt, like and we'll plug that into Ernie X1. And we'll see if this actually works. I don't have high hopes for it, but we'll see if this works or not. And we'll do the same inside Ernie 4.5 as well. Maybe you can't run both models at once. Maybe that's the issue. I'm gonna come back to X1 in a minute. But let's try this. Is it working or not working? Yeah, so only 4.5 is just broken. That is lost by default. Let's try X1 now. So this is the deep reasoning model. Hopefully that does better. The thinking mode is really weird. Like the outputs here. Maybe you would get better outputs in Chinese if you spoke simplified Chinese, but we're comparing these things in English, right? We're comparing these models in English. And all the announcements were in English on Twitter as well, right? Like you can see. So let's see what we get back. This doesn't really seem to make much sense in terms of reasoning. So it's like alternative methods using, and it just cuts off mid-sentence. Another idea is what about using A, and then it cuts off. And then it says something went wrong, please regenerate. All right, total fail, total fail. <laughs> okay, so let's try it now. We'll try a deep seek version three, and we'll see whether that can solve the job. So far, X1, and Ernie 4.5 have totally failed on this. Hopefully we get better outputs from DeepSeek R1. So there we go. So it's definitely coming up and figuring out the some of the problems here. It doesn't recognize the trees don't grow fruit in winter. So it's failed a little bit on the reasoning there, but at least it's given us some sort of output. We'll compare it versus DeepSeek R1 now as well. And we'll see what we get back here. So it's thinking about things. Still can't believe that X1 and only 4.5 are just not working. Maybe when they're actually working, they're better and outperform DeepSeek, but so far I think all of the promises that we've got right here in terms of benchmarks just don't seem to be reasonable in reality if the model just doesn't work. DeepSeek R1 seems to be struggling here as well, so we've got no outputs from DeepSeek one which is a bit of an issue too. The other thing that I'm going to say here, whilst we're waiting for that to load, is the Baidu's models are not open source, right? They are planning to be open sourced from June the 30th so far. Yeah, DeepSeek R1 has failed there. So the only model that actually worked here so far was DeepSeek version 3. So DeepSeek version 3 comes out on top for the reasoning challenge just by default, even if it didn't recognize the trees don't have fruit in winter. Now let's come on to two other ideas here that make DeepSeek still a better version, right? So if you type in DeepSeek into OpenRouter, you've got a bunch of different APIs you can use, both distilled via Llama and also for free, right? So for example, DeepSeek R1.0, 
And there seems to be like newer and newer models coming out all the time. So you can see, for example, DeepSeek R10 was created just 11 days ago. And you can get a free API from Open Router, and then you can use that to build your AI agents or tools or applications, whatever you want, right? Whereas if you type in Ernie, you won't find Ernie on Open Router. So it's not very accessible. And the same on Olama as well. So if you want to use DeepSeek in Olama so that you can host it locally, you can run it locally, etc., then you've got all these different versions of DeepSeek that you can run locally, right? Which is awesome because then they can be offline. You got more privacy safety. You can use this on like AI agents with our Olama integration, which is awesome, right? It's completely free as well. Whereas if, for example, you type in Ernie, you're not going to find Ernie X1 or Ernie 4.5 on Olama either. So it's not available on Open Router and it's not available on Olama. So it's not that accessible. And that's one of the biggest criticisms I would say of, about it as well. Not only the fact that it's just not really working consistently right now, and maybe that's just because it's in beta, but still not great. Whereas if, for example, you're using DeepSeek, it's more reliable, you can access it in more places, you can host it locally, it's open source, etc. That just makes it a more powerful model overall. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my courses on how to use AI, how to run it locally, how to set up Open Manus locally, we actually have a full three-hour course on DeepSeek that you can see right here, along with all of our best APs and AI agents. With DeepSeek, feel free to get that link in the description. The prices are going up for the AI Profit Boardroom at the end of the month, so make sure you sign up now. If you sign up now, you'll lock in your legacy price. If you don't sign up now, then you'll miss out on that and you'll have to pay more in the future, right? So if you sign up now, you basically lock in a cheaper price and get a lifetime deal on that. And additionally, if you have any questions, feel free to post them inside the AI Profit Boardroom community. Inside here, we have 464 members ready and willing to help you out. So feel free to get that. Link inside the comments and description. And also you can jump on weekly Q&As with us and ask any questions you have. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. On this free SEO strategy session, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot based on what's working for us and our happy clients. So you get a custom tailored link building plan to generate more leads to sales from your website. You will discover the secrets as your link building, right? So any questions you have one-to-one, -one, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get it, link in the comments description and appreciate it.